Dakin then somehow escaped from the X-Men and heard the news of the disappearance of Wolverine's body from Lady Deathstrike and Sabretooth. The duo asked him to help them investigated Logan's possible return and in case he was alive to kill him once again, Dakin agreed and joined them. Using data from military satellites, the team tracked down an adamantium signature similar to Logan's in Maybell, Arizona. They found the town overrun by zombies and their healing factors deactivated within the town's perimeter. Dakin was captured by a kill team sent by the organization responsible for the town state, Soterra. He then managed to escape and met up with Sabretooth and Lady Deathstrike. When the trio tried to head back to the power station where Dakin had been held prisoner to deactivate the mysterious glowing green orb that created the zombies and switched off their healing factor, all three were taken down by Soterra's soldiers. In the midst of the battle Dakin was fatally injured and died. His body was left behind by Sabretooth and Lady Deathstrike when they escaped after destroying the mysterious glowing green orb, and it was later retrieved by Soterra. Persephone, the mysterious leader of Soterra, then resurrected Dakin as one of her undead killers. With Dakin's reanimated corpse under her control she used it as one of her enforcers. While traveling on a boat with other Soterra soldiers, Dakin's reanimated corpse and Omega Red's reanimated corpse were made to attack his recently resurrected father and former Soterra employee Anna, who was in reality already dead and merely used as a vessel by Persephone, who were chasing them to get back Anna's son Purin. While Omega Red's reanimated corpse was taken out by Anna using a harpoon gun, Wolverine sprayed Dakin's reanimated corpse with fuel from his boat's engine and set it on fire with his heated claws before tossing it into the water. 